Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Fortnite by using the config settings. I have already made a video about best Fortnite settings, so you can go and check it out as well. Well, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So firstly, to reach to the config settings, you have to press your Windows and R key together and then type in app data. Simply click on OK and once you are here, go over to local and then find in Fortnite game. Once you are here, go to saved, then config, Windows client. And then over here, you have to find game user settings start I and I. Simply right click on that, go over to edit in notepad. Once you are here, the first thing that you'll find is the full screen mode. Set this thing to one. Then you'll find B motion blur, turn this thing to false, show grass, turn this thing to false as well, show FPS, turn this thing to true. Then you'll find stop rendering in background, set this thing to false, latency tweak 1, set this thing to false and latency tweak 2, set this thing to 1. Latency flash, set this thing to false, DLSS quality, set this thing to 3, use nanite set this thing to false b ray tracing set this thing to false as well fronted frame rate limit set this thing to 240 is energy saving enabled idle set this thing to false then you have is energy saving enabled focus loss set this thing to true then you'll find b use headphone mode set this thing to false b allow full game download set this thing to false b show temperature set this thing to false B use vsync set this thing to false use dynamic resolution set this thing to false as well audio quality level set this thing to 1 frame rate limit you should set it to 3 fps lower than the max refresh rate of your monitor so if it is 60 set this thing to 57 if that is 144 set this thing to 141 if it's 240 237 and i hope you get the idea then all the way in the bottom of this you'll find ray tracing set this thing to false and for the scalability group set the resolution quality to 85 view distance quality to 3 anti-aliasing quality to 0 shadow quality to 0 global illumination quality to 1 reflection quality to 0 post processing quality to 0 texture filtering quality to 0 effects quality to 0 foliage quality to 0 shading quality to 0 as well and landscape quality set this thing to 1 once again scroll all the way down to d3d hri preference and then set this thing the preferred level is to es31 and the preferred rhi to dx11 and this will set your game to performance mode once again you can also go into the game and set this thing to dx12 on dlss if you watch my video on fortnite settings i have already told you guys so once again if you're here you have to apply the dx11 to make sure that you're using performance mode while playing the game simply press ctrl and s and then close this after that right click on this file go over to properties then select read only so the game does not overwrite your settings and you will be playing on the constant settings right away once again if you want to make any changes to the settings via game i highly recommend you guys not to do this because your game would not accept any settings change before moving ahead if you want to record your gameplay on a low-end pc easiest rec experts will be an amazing screen recorder only for you you can download this from the link in the description below for completely free and open up this application you will see an interface like this you can record your full screen, audio, gameplay, including your webcam, system sound, and microphone. It helps you to record in one click, and you can record up to 144 FPS gameplay with this application. The best part is it offers GPU hardware acceleration, which is really helpful in saving your system resources. You can add custom hotkeys to get accustomed to your favorite recording keys. You can also record your mouse highlights as well if you're recording your screen. Make sure to run this application always as an administrator and then click on OK and hop into your game, record some gameplays and enjoy. Once again, check out Easy Trek Experts from the link in the description below for free. Next is the Fortnite GPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. And in here, you'll find the most important file that is the Fortnite optimization in which I have the Fortnite priority registry. Once again, you can simply double click to run it and it will set your Fortnite priority to a higher level. So whenever you play the game, your PC will recognize that it is running Fortnite and it will use maximum resources to render the game. Next is the GPU priority in which I have left two 
optimizations according to your GPU. So you can double click to run them and to know which one to use, you can comment your specs down in the comment section below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose right over here. Next is the MSI Utility V3. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once this application opens up, you have to find your GPU right over here in this list. Click on the MSI button right in front of it and from undefined, set this thing to high and then click on apply. It will make sure that your GPU affinity is set to a higher level to be utilized to render the games. Once that is done, you'll find a command line.txt right over here. Simply copy this command line over here. Open up Epic Games, click on these three buttons and then go over to manage. On the launch options, make sure to paste the string that you have copied. Click on close, click on the three buttons once again, then go over to options and then select pre-download streamed assets and then click on apply. Click on this option once again, go to options and then select the pre-download streamed assets and then click on apply. This will make sure that your game will render much faster whenever you are playing it. Once that is done, simply close your Epic Games and that is it for this video. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out as well. Also, if you have not checked out our last Fortnite video, you can go check it out. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below or you can click on the i button as well. I'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.